Okay, Badge by Cream. Uh, this song was released in uh, the late 60s. I think it was on their uh, last LP, Goodbye. Uh, in this guitar lesson, I'm going to go over the middle section, and which uh, the arpeggio chords. This part right here, which is what I was playing at the beginning. <laughs> Okay, this can be uh, broken down into three chords. Uh, D major, uh, C major seventh, and then a G major. And then back to uh, D major. So again, D major, a C major seventh, a G major, and back to a D major. Um, so the chords leading up to this section are C major, uh, A minor, uh, B minor seventh, and then it's an A minor with a ninth added to it. And there's a break. There's a silence. And then it kicks right into this uh, two measure um, arpeggio, which is uh, repeated over and over again. And uh, at slow tempo, it sounds like this. So the first part, that's a, a D, F sharp, and an A. Next part. So that's a C, an open G, and an open B. And then the next part is a B, uh, G, open G, and open B. And then the next part is a, a G and an open B. And then, so that's a D, A, and a D, power chord. Okay, keep in mind when you're playing this, you want to let the notes sustain. You don't want to dampen the notes. Okay, the way I'm uh, picking the notes, I'm not using uh, anything but uh, the pick. The pick is the only thing I'm using. And uh, I'm double picking. 
or you could say alternate picking. Down, up, down, up, down, up. And I just start with a downward pick. So at slow tempo, I'm doing this. Uh, this is slow enough tempo to where you can just do this. All, all, with all downward uh, picks. So in other words, you could do it like this. Uh, I'm not used to doing it this way, but uh, there's nothing wrong with doing it this way. It's just do it like this. <laughs> used to doing it that way. <laughs> Let me try it again. So, you know, either way, you can alternate pick or you can just do all downward uh, picking. Okay, the effects I was using at the beginning of the video, uh, two things, a rotary speaker and then uh, kind of a univibe type thing. And uh, I already have reverb on. This is the only effect I'm using right now. So I'll just add the effects one at a time, a rotary speaker. And then uh, one more thing, and that is, uh, I think you call it a univibe. One exception, I like to use my uh, bridge pickup just to make it a little bit brighter. I forgot one other thing, is uh, I have a little bit of overdrive. So you can hear that, it's just very slight. And then uh, when I kick in the uh, rotary speaker, I, I'm still adding an additional uh, overdrive. Let me uh, switch to my uh, bridge pickup. And then with the uh, Univibe, uh, I don't add any additional uh, overdrive. So um, I guess you could say three things. Uh, rotary speaker, Univibe, and uh, a little bit of overdrive.
Okay, that's all for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Bye.